This is the new habitat. As you can see, my sulcata is like, what is all this? I tried to like get him to eat some cantaloupe and climb up the, the ramps here, but he's not so sure about it. Buddy? I opened the lid because <laughs> I just want to play with him. I just want to play with him. This tortoise habitat, I'm telling y'all, this is the bee's knees. It's got two levels, and I didn't get to show this in my video before because I didn't want my little my little tanky poo here to meet a early demise. But I took it off, and there's the downstairs. Like, look, dude, you got two-story home. You got a bigger home than I do. So I, <laughs> I kind of like closed this off because there's still babies and I do not need my tortoises to literally die. What do you think, dude? What do you think, buddy? Are you liking your new place? He just said yes. Look at him, he's like, yes, I love it. Look, he's giving us a hell yeah. Hell yeah, I do. Hell yeah, I do. Hi. Hi, little stinker. All right, here. I got heating pads underneath. I got their cuttlefish. This is what they eat per calcium. Of course, you got to give them supplements, too. Look, Tank, it's a new toy for you. Look, wee. I'll see if he likes it. But the other two are in this massive hide. And there's actually a heating pad in there, too. There's so many access points to this. I didn't get to show you guys that. It was such a short video, and I'm, like, brand new at, at video editing. Here's the first and obvious latch. Oh, my gosh. He's going to eat that string. I just know it. <clears throat> so this you can, like, if you want to, like, like, tie this so that it doesn't, like, slam down or you don't want your tortoises to eat the string <laughs> i myself yeah i'm not too happy about that but here is there's that latch there's two bottom trays there's a there's a there's a tray here it's a, that's what this is under he's probably gonna get scared if i do that again there's a latch here and this is the hide and where are they? Hi, guys. I just got to kind of feel around for them. There's a nice little heating pad. Oh, yeah, it's nice and warm now. Hi, hey, babies. Look. Oh, there's my Russian red foot. Hi, little girl. I don't know if she's a girl or a boy yet. Hi, sweetheart. They got new substrate. Where's my, where's my elongated tortoise at? Hey, buddy, where are you? Ah, there you are. You're nice and cold over there. Here. Here, this is my elongated. He's like, he looks like, I call him Cheech because he looks stoned all of the time. Here you go, you little baby. There you go. Get nice and warm, y'all. So I got a heating pad underneath there. Here's where you can get your own habitat. You can put like bunnies in here. You can actually put guinea pigs in here chinchillas if you want to spoil your you know pets like i do of course i got uva uvb lights and a ceramic heating bulb this is their night light actually and this is their ceramic heating bulb which just generates a lot of heat for them because they're desert animals they need the heat and i always think like it's such so cold down here so i give them a lot a lot a lot of light just so they're nice and warm there's another latch here which i have a heating pad directly underneath tank right now and as you can see why i call him tank i mean if you look at look in comparison to come here ready my little red fox i call her red fox Look at the size comparison between her and him. I mean, she's tiny compared to him. 
you can't really tell the size difference, but when they're next to each other, you can. So like, look, and they get along right now. They get along now. See, see the size difference between them both. That's Salcata, man. He's a he's a hardy boy. And there's my little my little. I call him Cheech. They're so cute. They're very friendly. I mean, they're tortoises. They don't bite. They don't bite. They don't have teeth. So this is again. I have little little boy with little tiny fingers. You know that I. Oh great! I think I went. There we go. It locks like that. Um, there's Ghost Tank. He's climbing underneath there. There's another hide for them. There's another tray underneath on the bottom here. I got a space heater just, just so I can keep them warm. There's another tray that's that easily slides out. And here's that heating pad. And this is like the, the second floor. And when he gets bigger, I'll let them venture down the trap door. But as of now, I'm not comfortable with that. I baby them. They're my babies, and if anything ever happened to them, I would die. You know, because they cannot, if they were to, on their, you know, flip on their backs, that's a uh, a big, you know, that's, that's a problem. I got a massive, like, power strip, but the space heater is plugged in directly to the wall, because I ain't stupid. There's another door back there, another latch. So there's access points on this thing, like absolutely crazy how many access points they give you on this. It's a pretty big, and it's a pretty big enclosure. And I'm very happy with it. It's very like well made and it was easy to put together. So, all right, you guys, I'll put the link again down below. And yeah, use code JustGenReacts for a discount. And uh, if you have any other videos you want me to do or explain anything in general or do a specific video um, I'm glad to do it I cannot take them outside right now because Cleveland is like literally freezing right now so hopefully I'll move down to Florida soon enough so I can let them play outside and I can play outside too nice and warm all right Ava Turbin Ava Turbin thank you guys